In this lesson, we're going to learn how to install external resources such as packages, libraries, and drivers. External resources may be necessary to run your pipelines. For example, when connecting to a database such as Oracle, the compatible JDBC driver needs to be made available to the execution engine running the pipeline. In Control Hub, there are two ways to install these types of resources. The first way is by defining the external resources in a deployment configuration where the resources will be installed across all execution engines in the deployment. The second way is by installing an external resource directly onto an execution engine. To install at the deployment level, we need to first edit the deployment configuration and go to the engine configuration. Next, we need to select Archive as the external resource source and set the location of where execution engines can pull the archive file from. Then we just go ahead and complete the deployment configuration. If creating a new deployment, then newly created engines will pull the archive as they're starting up. If editing an existing deployment, then registered engines will need to be restarted. Note, once a deployment has been set to use an external resource, then external resources cannot be uploaded for individual engines. The external resources archive folder structure is pretty simple. The folder can have three types of resources. Text file resources, stage resources such as drivers, and user libraries that may be dependencies in a script evaluator stage for custom code execution. Note that the external resources folder must be named as shown here. The compressed archive of this folder can be of type TGZ or ZIP. The second way to install external resources is at the execution engine level by going directly to the engine's configuration and installing the resource. This may be useful if you have a specific execution engine that a type of pipeline will be targeting. For example, you may have a particular engine that has a network route to a database, whereas other engines in the deployment do not. Note that this option is not available if an external resource is set at the deployment level. Let's now go ahead and install a driver for our deployment. We'll go ahead and update an existing deployment. Configure the engines. If not already selected, select the necessary stages you'd like to enable. In our example, we'll enable the JDBC stages. Select external resource source as archive file. Set the external resource location. Now let's go ahead and complete the installation. Let's take a look at our engines to make sure that the driver has been installed. We have successfully installed an external resource. Now it's your turn to try. 